All right, here we go. First successful MMU 2.0 print. It, I was having a lot of issues with the filament getting stuck and messed up, uh, and actually prints failing as a result of it. Because uh, it well, wasn't the big deal. It usually fail like on the first layer. Um, but what I did was I pulled all of these out, and having the, rather than having them be, be jammed into the, those tiny little holes, which squeezes the inner diameter and actually puts uh, unnecessary pressure on the filament, I just pressed them against those holes and tightened down this cover. And it's holding quite strongly. Um, I mean, plenty strong enough for its purpose. And now the filaments come in and out almost effortlessly, except for, um, I think it was like this one. And I still need to investigate that. I, I, re I ended up replacing the PTFE that came with this with some PTFE I have, which is kind of why it looks a little wonky. It'll straighten itself up for time. It was curled into a tight ball. Um, and this one is the most effortless gliding of all of them. So I don't know what the deal is with Prusa and these um, stock ones that came with it, but this, uh, this one that I had just lying around seems to be nice and smooth, whereas these have much more friction. I'm not sure why. Anyways, the print came out okay, and never mind the string. That's because I made a mistake. That is not the MMU's fault. I had the temperature set too high for this gray filament. Um, and I used this snake model as the, you know, wipe as wipe object, and I also used it for wipe infill. And it came out really kind of neat looking. It has this neat gradient um, because I was using white, silver, and black. Um, let's pull one of these off here. See how it looks. <laughs> Way too much string. Oh, he's like breathing fire. Ah. But it seems to have come out really well. Um, no obvious problems with the print. Just got to hit it with the um, with the heat gun. And this is a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which is why, you know, you can kind of see the um, the top layers a little bit more than normal. And it was 0.35 millimeter layer height because I wanted it to be quick. You know, quick test. Um, not going for fancy here. It's just a toy. But let's see if I can get this off of here. Do a little, little that one-handed brute force technique. All right, let's have a look here. That looks kind of neat. Me free it up a little bit. Oh, it's a spiky snake. <laughs> Does the um, tongue come out? I feel it probably it feels like it will. It's just hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, it'll come out. I can feel it. It's wiggling around in there. It's just stuck in the back a little bit. But yeah, that came out kind of neat. Use uh, making toys as as your wipe object. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be my go-to model for doing that now. Well, for short ones anyway, because it's not a tall print. In fact, this wipe tower, the last few layers were full because the Flexi Rexy here is a little bit taller than the snake. Well, definitely having a good time with this. And that goes in there. Awesome, so the MMU 2.0 seems to be working, working well now that I've made those minor adjustments.